Hey guys, Chainfire here and welcome to another one of my videos. I'm glad you made it and I do hope you enjoy the watch. This time I'll be doing a commentary on my last game and I kind of want to give you an idea of what uh, goes into doing one and a quarter million damage in a normal game. Also I do think this may help. Uh, I hope it'll help with your strategy and how you use your bots and weapons. So let's go ahead and watch. So I normally start uh, on this map with Orc and with um, Tyrants, but I just had a hunch that I'm better off with my DB here. So the Rhino's gonna go get that beacon. Um, we do have, I see, uh, a Rhino. I see coming in over here to the center. We got another Rhino at 500 meters right next to him. I have another RDB. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to center, try to get this guy. See, he's looking away. So it's perfect timing. Let's get a nice clean shot at him. I thought he was gonna continue moving forward, and then I see him backing up. So I kind of um, missed most of those shots, but uh, I still got a nice amount of damage on him. Now, center is too packed and, you know, my teammates are not out yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and help this guy on the right side. He's doing a pretty good job on whatever it is we're looking at here. I'm going to try to get a hit in there too, but don't have the angle. I'll continue. I'm not sure why he's standing right there. Uh, he should be staying behind cover or just continue back there. But at least he got that beacon. Let's see what else we got here. I see another death button jumping over here. Another death button. We got a fast moving one over here. Right over there, Thunder on Carnage. So let's get out of his way. Help this guy finish off this Stalker. Try to be conservative with ammo. Uh, save that ammo. And then move straight into cover right uh, as close as we can to this wall. We're going to hug it. I'm pretty sure this is an RDB, but let's just make sure. Yeah, it's an RDB. Let's get out of his way. Um, I do have to make sure to keep an eye on him in case he jumps, so I'm going to continue looking that way, but I'm going to try to finish this guy off. He's got a little bit of health left. And there we go, we got the one RGB out of the way, so we do have another RGB over here. And he made a jump over here. So I jumped out thinking there's only one RGB there, but sure enough, there was one that spawned, so I had two RGBs here. Now, <laughs> I jumped back, and this is one of the funniest moments, but I thought I was going to die right here, but sure, <laughs> they both took cover, and I, you know, I barely used any, lost any HP. Get a good shot on this guy and then move behind cover. So that's a good execution there, but I should have waited an extra second. This guy's gonna shoot at me. I'm gonna hug the wall and actually face the wall. I feel like you get less flash damage that way. I, don't know, I may be wrong. Those guys are all out of range, so let's go after this guy. He's full health, but I'm anyway dying somewhere over here. Uh, that stalker is pretty fast, and he made it back here. Knocks off both of my um, pinatas, which were fully loaded. So this guy really barely got me my wrath. Um, so right now we have a uh, we have a stalker. We have I know for sure a RDB that was in front of that rhino, and we have that rhino um, going to my left side. And I'm pretty sure I have another RDB back there. Yeah, all the way in the back. So the Tehran is probably the best. The Griffin, you know, I can jump away from those RDBs uh, and easily get that stalker, um, you know, and help with the with getting the rhino. So I, I thought this is the best choice. Instead of going with the Rhino, and sure enough, it was. Uh, it played out really well here at first. You see, I kind of get these guys center and finish almost finish off this Rhino. Was looking away and finish him off right here. Now, this guy comes out and hits me with the Zeus. Perfect timing. The RDB that was hiding by their spawn hit me also in perfect timing, and then the Zeus hits me again. So I had to drop that bot. It only got those two bots in the middle so I'm gonna pull out my rhino over here um, I see all my teammates are on the right side so I'm not gonna even though we're not doing so well on beacons I'm not gonna go over for and try to get a beacon right now that wouldn't be wise I would definitely probably lose this bot now right over there I saw this was a Hydra um, Griffin and then we have this um, I, we have that guy who's in a fury uh, trident so I'm not worried about this I'm sorry about the lag it's a new setup um, I'm gonna try to get that fixed up so I'm not worried about this guy I go move into center. This Lancelot over here, you guys didn't see him, but he's moving away. He's not focused on me, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this Rhino off. Now these guys are not looking at me, so they're not a threat. The little pointer behind me was showing me that there's someone behind me, so I moved. But he's behind the wall, so at least I'll get um, this guy right over here. It was a nice little, a nice little surprise. Then I got the Zeus, so he fires. I keep my my shield. Um, close and keep shooting in him then open it um, just to get you know another try to get another couple of good shots at him but I didn't so I'm gonna move behind cover I wanna stay out of this guy's way 
those Zeus's already did enough damage to my um, Griffin. So now I got this Hydra shooting. I'm gonna stay behind cover. And now I do realize that uh, you know at this point we're, we just got this beacon. Uh, barely. I mean, we're really not doing good on beacons, but I can't afford to lose any more boss. I can't afford to, you know, lose too much HP. So I'm just gonna do this little maneuver over here, back and forth behind, you know, behind cover, and really finish him off with barely losing any any HP. That's pretty good execution. I can see he's running away, so I'm gonna try to get him with those uh, CRV pins, and then I'm gonna open my shields because I don't know when he's going to turn around and try to shoot at me. I'm not going to advance anymore, I'm going to stay behind cover over here, this is a good spot for me because there's another guy coming. I'm trying to finish off the Rhino and then whatever it is coming for me, but um, whatever it is that was coming for me here, he got me good with his missiles, um, but now the Rhino is dead. I'm going to move back and same maneuver again, basically trying to conserve on you know power and, and, and hit points and stay with as much as possible and try to get as much damage done stay behind cover you can't avoid splash damage but you know so that really hurt but at least I didn't get too hurt too bad I'm just be able to do this again and again uh, at this point the guy moves in behind cover so I can't do that anymore it's time for me to advance and try to get him I thought he was going to continue going towards center but he's coming back for me and now I'm out of uh, the ability of going behind cover back behind cover so that was that, I lost that bot. Let's bring another Rhino and try to apply a pressure again. Um, we're gonna try at this point, I see they have only four bots left, so I'm gonna try to mech, we're gonna try to mech them out. Once again, I lagged, I apologize about that. Um, but I do basically just move into center. And as soon as I get to center, you'll see her in a, in a second. Um, I see this guy at 300 meters, exactly. And I just move forward and try to take him out. Almost finished him off there. And again, we're trying to mech them out, so here I'm going to try to move as fast as I can. Um, this guy with the Hydra is messing with this Fury. I'm not sure why the Fury didn't shoot at me. I'm not sure why he shot at the Hydras. I'm more of a threat to him. Maybe he was just trying to finish off the Hydras. So I finished that guy off. Now I thought he was going to continue moving, so I shot my uh, Piñatas, but he didn't. So I only got a little bit of him, which kind of sucks. But we got to mech them out right now. I don't know if... You know, we did. We do have four beacons now, but we have to try to mech them out as fast as possible. Now it's basically just a race for damage, because we do uh, we do realize at this point that that's it. They mech out. Uh, this guy, I feel bad for him. He must have been at like 300, you know, 301 or 302 meters away from the guy. He shot all his orcans, his um, orcans, and missed. But this guy was tricky. He even got away from me. I was going to do some serious damage to him. And you notice I did also shoot only my Orkins. You always try to keep the piñatas when you can. Try to see if anybody kills him and if he spawns. Get a perfect shot at him with all those piñatas. A lot of damage. But that's it. Alrighty guys, well thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and like it. You can subscribe if you want to see more. I will be doing more commentaries. Please, in the comment section below. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see. If you have, you know, anything you want me to, you know, try to explain any, you know, maps that you're having a hard time with, um, anything like that. Please let me know, and I will do my best to respond as fast as possible. If you have any special requests, I have, um, as of right now, still enough time on my hands. So go ahead, put them in the comment section below. I hope to see you soon in my next video.